Hi, I'm Rachel Cohen. And I'm Sandra Davis, and this is El Camino Reality. Two weeks ago, Model United Nations competed at the Berkeley Conference, bringing home impressive awards and great memories. Chelsea Ewan and our very own Rachel Cohen report on the conference. On Saturday, March 9th through Sunday the 10th, Model United Nations attended the Berkeley Conference. Overall in MUN, I have a lot of fun and we basically research about our one country, we develop a position in our country standpoint, and we debate about that specific topic depending on what committee and what topic we have. The delegates worked for weeks in advance to prepare for the conference. To prepare for MUN, first we have to research about our country. We have to find information about our country and our country's position, and then we write a research paper about it. You have to research your country's policy because you're, you're speaking in your country's point of view. You can't let your personal opinion get in the way because you are Venezuela. You're not Vista, you're Venezuela. Two senior delegates, Roxanne Linier and Josh Villarreal, watched their hard work pay off as they returned with an outstanding delegate award. Uh, it was one of the most amazing feelings in my entire life, actually. Ever since a 10th grader, I've been wanting to be up there with the outstanding delegates, and just to get that, it was, it was something, it was so beautiful, it was so amazing, just to know that all my hard work got me somewhere. Uh, I was... Um, surprised, but not surprised because my partner Josh was really, really desiring of winning something. So he really pushed me and him to work really hard because of his last conference and mine as well. But I was really proud because he really wanted it. So I was happy to win too. As seniors, the delegates reflect on their MUN experience as a whole. MUN has been a wonderful time for me. I've gotten to meet so many new people. I've been able to gain confidence in myself. I've been able to learn some skills that I'm going to use in my life and it's really been a staple in my high school experience. My MUN experience has been really great. It's my last year as a senior, but I'm really excited about the fact that we won um, an award in our last conference. And Berkeley is such a unique experience because it's one of the biggest conferences. You get so many different types of people who have different types of talents with speaking and resolution writing, and they just have such a good opinions that you can really come up with a, a great resolution in the end. The seniors weren't the only ones who brought home awards. My partner and I, Kaylee Chang, we won accommodation, so we were really happy. I was really excited because this is my first time going to the Berkeley Conference, and winning an award was really exciting for Vista and I. Though this was the last conference of the year, the freshmen have three more years of MUN to look forward to. For El Camino Reality, this is Rachel Cohen reporting. Speaking of winning, the robotics team participated in the VEX robotics competition the same weekend and placed second. Let's learn more. On March 7th through March 9th, El Camino's robotics team competed with five robots in the National VEX Robotics Championship in Ralston, Nebraska. The hours of dedication and hard work that went to preparation was well worth it. El Camino Real's Team 404 placed second in their division. It felt really good getting uh, second place there. It was our robots specifically, me and Alakai. We specifically got second place. Could they got first, but second place will have to do. Coming up to the competition in the last two weeks, we all spent a lot of time, like four to six hours a day, in the robotics workshop. Uh, from right after school till God knows, like six, seven. About four weeks before the competition to fully start the building and the practicing. The team faced some challenges along the way. The most challenging thing for us probably was the qualification matches because. We usually ended up being in really bad alliances. The most challenging thing is getting alliances with other schools and teaming up with other schools' robots. The most challenging thing is the stage fright you feel from the competition and your entire team relying on you to do what you need to do to win. The entire team comes together almost like a family and we all work together to build all the robots. The 404 family is uh, completely a team. It's not always like that with most robotic teams. The time you spend is all op optional and up to you. But what really comes down to who spends the most time gets to do the most to the club. 
In April, Robotics will be heading to Anaheim to compete in the VEX High School World Championship. For El Camino Reality, this is Lily Merrill reporting. The speech and debate team went to state qualifiers last week, and while it was the last conference for some, others will move on to the state competition. Anastasia White and Rachel Hambly speak with the team about their accomplishments this year. The speech and debate team recently attended the state qualifiers competition. The coach of the team, Ricardo Velasquez, tells us how it went. Well, we just finished uh, two weekends of competition and we did really well. For a first year school, it's incredible. The uh, first year, the first, all juniors and seniors uh, broke the semifinals and finals against people who have been doing this for four, four years or longer, so it's amazing. Carolyn Tickton, a senior on the team, explains why she chose her topic of breast cancer that won her seventh place. Breast cancer is an issue that many, many people all across the world are affected by, and I knew that it would be a topic that would strike my judges on a personal level for the most part. Another member on the team, Faraz Morad, shares his thoughts on taking home the silver at state qualifiers. Uh, I'm really excited. I, I wasn't sure if I'd make it or not, but I put in as much work as I could into state qualifiers. You know, things came together for me, man. I made it. Reporting for El Camino Reality, this is Rachel Hambly. From all of us here at El Camino Reality, have a great day. And stay sharp, conquistadors. Here's a musical clip from Outlier. Don't forget to tell your friends to check us out at our website, ecrjournalism.com. You'll say I'm sorry in a language, a language I can't understand. You'll say I'm sorry in these pages, but I can't seem to read.